नमस्कार सत श्रीकाल आदाब हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू डे 19 ऑफ पावर बीआई लर्निंग सीरीज बाय डिपके लर्नर टुडेस ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इज नॉट जस्ट टेक्निकल इट इज मैजिकल लेट मी शो यू व्हाट आई मीन इमेजिन यू आर वर्किंग ऑन एन ऑर्डर डेटा सेट एंड यू हैव गॉट ऑल दीस कॉलम्स लाइक शिप डेट एड्रेस शिप सिटी शिप रीजन शिप पोस्टल कोड एंड शिप कंट्री ईच ऑफ दीस have or has value but they are scattered not presentation ready now imagine this you combine all of them into one clean structured field a complete shipping address beautiful right this isn't just about merging text it's also about creating clarity improving readability and making your data business ready whether it's for dashboard emails invoices or export in today's session you will learn how to select columns to combine how to choose the best separator like a comma or space and how to create a single structured field using power query but before we jump into the demo let me ask you something from the heart if you are new here don't forget to subscribe like and share because if this video helped you even a little and you share it forward you might just save someone else 15 minutes of struggle and confusion that 15 minutes they could spend resting with their families or doing something that bring them peace and maybe just maybe this small help helps them earn a little extra or work smarter if that happens my purpose is fulfilled now let's see it in action let's walk through a simple step by step demo using the real world field so i'll take you back to this power bi uh i'll i'll just come out of this i don't want to save it i'll come back to the power query which is a uh, power bi desktop which we were using on day 15 and i'll start with that demo i'll go to the power query editor so i'll click on transform and click on transform data to go into the power query editor and now if i take you to the order in the orders table we have all the fields that i was discussing till now we have the ship name we have the ship address we have the ship city we have the ship region the ship postal code and the ship country now the requirement is that we want all of them concatenated and this requirement can be for various reasons for example it could be for sending an email it could be that you want to send it to someone who requires the full shipping address in order to give any notification or anything to the customer right or you wanted to save the full address in some kind of system where you required it to be updated because different tools different applications work differently sometimes you require when you're working in the iod iod iot kind of interfaces right where you have to share the information between the machineries you require the the data to be formatted in certain format for one kind of machine and you require the data to be formatted in a different kind of format for different machine and that's where this comes in picture now very quickly we'll talk about concatenating all those so if you want to concatenate all of them what you can do is you have a control keyboard on a uh, control key on your keyboard so you click on that and before doing that click on the first column that you want to add there so i want the ship name now i'll press the control key i'll go to the ship address i'll specify the city region postal code and the ship country do a right click and i'll click on merge the moment i click on merge it opens up a dialog box for you 
whatever name you want to give you can give it give the name here so i will say shipping address and the separator between them so it's an address so we we cannot leave no space because then the words will concatenate and stick with each other so we require comma to be there so once i click on comma this is there i'll click on okay and you will see all of those columns which i had created is gone away now we have only one shipping address and that too if you see one of the addresses we have it comma separated but those comma separated are too close to each other we want a diff one space after the comma so what we can do is we can go to the merge column again click on that applied step and then go here and say i want it as custom so in the custom what i'll do is i'll put a comma give a space and click on okay so now if you see any of those addresses the shipping address we have the complete address we have a comma and a space there now you merged all the cells but what happened is you missed to or or you're missing the previous columns which were there in the previous step here so you require both the things you require the shipping address as well as the existing um, columns so in that case this merge column will not help what i'm going to do is i'm just going to copy this because this will help me in identifying the columns once i'm there creating the custom column and after copying this what i'm going to do is i'll go and remove the merged column function so the mo uh, merge column applied step the moment i remove it you will see all my columns just came back so i require all the columns and i require them in the concatenated format as well so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to add column i'll say custom column and the name of the column i'll put as shape uh, shipping address i have put those columns here so i'll just hit twice the enter a couple of times so i keep all the columns there which i require i will be able to see all the columns of this particular data set here as well so i will be taking the values from here rather than taking it from here so i'll go with the ship name it comes like this then what i'll do is i'll put an ampersand i require a comma after that a space after the comma and closing double quotes so and another ampersand so what i'm concatenating is the ship name whatever the values there in the ship name ampersand and then I'll, i'm putting a comma and a space and then i'm ready for the next one so i can i can keep on doing it the same way i require the shipping address so i'll put in the shipping address i'll copy this part which is there in the middle and paste it here i will go to the ship city and paste the same thing that i have there after the ship city i'll be clicking on the ship region then again i'll be placing that ampersand comma space then after the ship region i require the postal code then i require this again and then i require the ship country so i'm going to remove this whatever i've kept it earlier i have all the columns and i click on okay so the moment i click on okay i see some of the null values and i see some of the values why is it giving you the nulls in the shipping address by the way that what we have done in uh, by the process that we have done and but it was not giving it in the merged columns right so if you see here if i take take you back to all the columns some of those column one of those column which is region is having null values right and that is the reach reason wherever there is a null value for the ship region we see null value here so i will give you another formula i'll try to explain you the formula here as well that would be a bit heavier than this one but it's very simple if you understand one you will be able to understand all of them so what i'm trying to do is i have written this formula i'll change this complete thing with the formula so very simple thing what i'm trying to do is i'm writing down if ship name is null then i'm putting a empty colons there so i'm not putting anything i'm just saying that don't put anything there just it's an empty string else if it is not null i will give the ship name and this i'm doing it for all the fields that i was 
working on. First, I'll show you the answer, the output of it, and I click on OK. You see all the node, those null values are gone. And you see that there is a empty comma here because of that null value. You see after reams and before the zip code, which is 51100, you see that empty space. Right. So that is coming because of that null there, and we have been able to solve it. I want to show you one more thing which is an error that you might see if you're using multiple ifs. So if you're using multiple if and you don't put the next if in a bracket after the ampersand, you will get an error like token literal expected. So that only means that you have to put this if condition in a bracket after the ampersand. So this is one bracket that I've done and then I've done it for each one of them. Right, each, for each if statement I've put it in a in a bracket and that literal error is gone right so once I click on OK it comes back and everything is working the way that we expected smallest transformation bring the biggest impact whether it is merging six column into one or transforming messy data into something business ready each step is a progress right got doubt ask me i'll give you the link in the description ask it learn it with divk learner and just before um, we wrap up don't go just yet because when day 20 is going to blow your mind we'll explore pivot and unpivot columns you will learn how to turn rows into columns and columns into rows. It's a must have skill for any data wizard or a magician like you. So drop a comment below. Let me know what you learned or even just say thank you. Let's grow and help other grow too. Ask it, learn it with DFK Learner. We are in this journey together. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you. Bye.